up on Denver 7 News at 11. Let the game begin. It's opening day for the Rockies here in the Mile High City. We are live at Coors Field with what to expect on this big day. Plus, with tens of thousands expected to pack the area near Coors Field, how local businesses are looking to cash in. And a look at the newest merchandise and food items hitting the ball game menu list. We first want to get right to some breaking news we're following at this hour. Here's a live picture from the New York area looking at New York City where an earthquake hit not too long ago. The USGS is reporting that a magnitude 4.8 earthquake shook the New York City area at around 930 Denver time. This is a preliminary report. You want to check out this video of the earthquake as it happened. Now you can see, there we go, some pretty intense shaking. And you can even hear a roar as it hit. The epicenter is reportedly in the state of New Jersey and people reportedly felt the quake into parts of Connecticut as well as Massachusetts. New York's governor tweeted the earthquake hit Manhattan and was felt throughout the state. Now crews are now assessing impacts and damage that may have occurred. All right, now to our big story. Let baseball begin right here in Colorado. It's opening day for the Rockies and Denver 7 sports anchor Lionel Bienvenue. He is live at Coors Field this morning with a preview of all the action that's set to get underway. Hey, Lionel. <laughs> Well, the weather here doesn't look that great on Monday to see the eclipse. We have chances for rain and snow on Monday with highs in the upper 40s. Now, today it'll be 75, a little windy, cooler with a chance for rain and snow into tomorrow. Uh, bummer, but there's always next time, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Stacy. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And thanks for joining us. Mile High Living is up next. And coming up this afternoon, head over to our sister station for Denver 7 News on Local 3 at 1 o'clock. Have a great day, everyone, and a great weekend.